Hey everyone, my name is Stefan Kraus from Byte the Bytes, the developers of World Creator. And in this video, I'd like to showcase you the biomes along with the biome layers, specifically for creating different biomes and making them usable on the terrain by also, you know, painting them and all that stuff. There are actually, actually two possible ways you can do that, that, which means we have two workflows that we are fully supporting in some World Creator. The one is a more, it's like, 98%, 99% full procedural, and the other one is like 50-50. Like it's like um, you're shaping your terrain, and then you're using the biomes to to paint the biomes on the terrain, which means you already have the full shape of it. Okay, and the first one, which I'm going to show you now, it's like just like you're having a random terrain. Um, you do a little bit of biome painting because you want to spread the biomes on the terrain, but um, it doesn't really. It's like it doesn't really. Um, keep the shape that you created because it's a completely procedural so the shape might change while you're painting the biome but let me just explain this method and in another video i'm going to show you how to sculpt the terrain along with the biome creation using exactly the same biome settings that we are just doing here for this terrain now okay so let's get started before i start yes um please be aware this is still an early access version it's still on the development. It's not a finished version. We're still working on it, but the um, release is planned for mid-August 2023. And um, yeah, the beta is currently also fully available after your purchase. So everything I'm doing here right now, you'll be able to do that if you purchase World Creator even now. Okay, let's get started now. So the first you see here, it's just a um, terrain I've created. I actually used a a biome, I call it Canyon. I added some filters like here, the dry rocky sharp filter, erosion white flows. Um, there's the sediment mud, which I just um, want to keep out. As you can see, it creates some really nice stuff along along the um, edges of the, of the more elevated terrains. But I wanna keep this out for now. Um, and we have that experimental simulation uh, sand filter, which just applies sediment based on the eroded parts on the terrain. So these are my colors here. So we can quickly take a look how they will apply. We could use the show heat map, which shows this is my ground color, which covers everything. And then we have the coloring for the edges of the, uh, of the uh, rocks. Then we have the color for the, for a little bit for the flows. So we have some sort of a little bit of flow, flow effects. And then we have the color of the sediment map, which is a, yeah, which simulates the sand actually. Now, by the way, um, this is the show heat map button. With that, you can, um, yeah, show the parts of the terrain that are fully affected by the distributions that you set up here under the material list. Okay, now what I want to do is like, I want to uh, add a desert biome and simulate some sand on top. So I want to have like a fluent desert coming from the from the bottom left corner and it just moves fluently into the into that rocky sand style terrain. So what's really important is of course that the biomes should fit together, which means the coloring and all that stuff should be going fluently. Um, so it looks more realistic. But this is like a setup that you need to do on your own. Um, however, World Creator can help a lot for this. So now with the, with the biomes, I've created that biome already. So you can find it here on the presets, on the biome. And there you can see there's my desert biome with a nice preview. And the first thing I'm going to do is like, I'm just dragging into the biomes here. And as soon as I've dragged it on top, you can see that it's been like completely, just completely adds this desert biome on top of everything. So it's nothing, nothing really fancy here. So we've added these, these filters, we could let me remove the smooth rich filter. So I think it looks a little bit better without that. And now the question is, how can I tell World Creator that I want the desert biome to be along the borders here, but not over the entire map? And that's pretty easy to do. That's why we have the biome layers here. So you could do the following. It's like you're adding a biome layer and you give it a name and then you apply the biome to which is it, it really relates. So for example, I had another one. This relates to the first. We're, give, we're going to relate it to the desert. 
and now we have the desert right if i disable it we can see that if i enable the mask here we can see that one so there's an, also another approach it's very simple you have the biome here there's a small icon just hit it hit it and you got it already applied like this canyon will be uh, named to the to the canyon it's going to be applied to the canyon you have the desert named to the desert and applied to the desert now the next step is it's really easy F just for showcasing i could do something like this okay so i can move it and you already can see that the biome is going to be applied all along within that within that rectangle or that um, that i'm moving here on my terrain. So it's like an area, like from World Creator 2, you know, know those areas, which means actually just a mask. Now, um, we could just hit fit to terrain because I want to cover the entire terrain, but I want to take out parts. And that's where the edit button here comes into question. If you click edit, you already see the new sculpting painting capabilities. In this case, just the painting capabilities. So we moved everything that was listed previously here or by a context menu, it's now listed to the left side of Word Creator. Um, now, he, these are the tools you can use, like paint, erase, and smooth. Um, I'm going to clear the desert layer now entirely, clicking here on clear, and the other one shows up, okay? So what I'm going to do now is, I wanna paint some parts here so we can see that the desert shows up here. So I'm going to enable the show mask, course nothing is red because it's entire clear and now I'm going to increase a little bit the strength here and just start painting on it so we get something like this okay and you already can re I really see that the desert thing here comes out of the everything like that I mean you already can see the biome desert showing up because these these hills and these dunes right um, now What's what's really cool is like um, I could overdraw it like this and you can see that the underlying biome um, is pushed away. Okay, and the harder, which means the stronger my brush would be, like I'm painting a really high strength, and I immediately get the desert put in these locations. Okay, so I make it now really rough for you just so you can see the the difference okay now we have that applied on that one and goes fluently into it I need to correct the borders a little bit and just let me go down a little bit so you can see that here there are now two things I don't really like the first thing is the desert is way too low compared to the terrain elevation of these rocks here and I don't like the blending between them so this is the case because it's completely procedural so actually it's like mixing a desert terrain along with the canyon terrain and both might have complete different elevation values so we need to adjust it a little bit but that's pretty easy just select the canyon or not the canyon the desert here um, the biome that you want to adjust there's a nose noise height slider here um, i'm going to increase that and you already see that a uh, that Antar biome is showing up. Now this looks much better regarding the uh, re regarding the, bl uh, the blending of each two, but I'm not that happy. Um, so I'm going to increase it a little bit more because typically sand is way more. It just collects up. Now this looks better. And the next step I'm going to do is I'm going to take care of these of, uh, of these borders. So I'm using the smooth here, and I'm just going all over the borders just to get rid of a really hard thing like this a little bit now this looks way better already it's not even much to be done you can also take a look at the mask here okay and what I also could do is like using the erase using the brush strength, reduce it to a minimum because we want to have a blending along these lines like here. So we're doing it like that just to have a better blending. So by the way, I'm not an artist, so please excuse my painting skills. 
those are not the best for sure but I think you can do much better than I do so we're getting rid of these heavy edges having something like this and we of course could further smooth out the things so it's getting even better and then we are I think we're pretty fine with the results so far compared to my artist skills okay yeah I think that's that's not too bad um, so we just leave it as is it's not perfect for now but yeah it's 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 it's, it's okay it's it's really great then we can also place our human here by um, you need to make sure to go on the render hit reference object enabled hover with the mouse over the terrain and hit M the key M to place human here on the terrain and yeah that looks good there's just one thing I would like to adapt that's actually just the uh, um, the uh, the Voronoi effect here by reducing the cell height which is now also really cool because if you're mixing the bios and, you, and let's say you've done your terrain actually you would mix in bios in really huge terrains it's not it's it's not real like a good sample for mixing it on a lower smaller terrain but for showcase reasons it's it's pretty okay so you could and, and every change that you do on the filters or on the biome is automatically adapted on the terrain automatically right so if i'm reducing the cells here you can see that i can control the dunes here for my sand and for my desert look now this also would be like if i'm changing everything here it adapts right so if i'm taking away the wind or taking away the denoise effect so all this here um, is taken into account immediately in a uh, world creator for this uh, for this reason here so it's really really nice and you get really good mixing um, along with that you also can control the materials afterwards so you like you want to have like a sandy more like a red sand coming from the desert over to the other one then this also works and there's one more thing that really comes into question is like if you're having applied the sand filter for for the um, sediment simulation or, or, or even the flows the flows go fluently into into each other so it's not like a hard cut or something like that it really goes into each other and it, it mixes up completely amazing um, giving you um, really good results um, now if you're happy with something like like with a desert or something like that um, you could just also save it away as a preset so like I'm deleting the presets here and you just drag drop it into biome you can also create your own folder and uh, rearrange your presets and reuse them in your further projects all along with uh, with everything you've done so nothing is lost okay now last step i'm going to increase a little bit the resolution so we get a much better look and i'm fine with this so i'm really happy it looks great and yeah that's how the biome layers and along with the biomes work it's pretty easy uh, it's pretty straightforward as i said initially there's also another approach i'm going to show in another uh, in a in another video today that i'm going to create so you can compare because you know in most cases that's just my personal um, opinion it's like you're designing your terrain using a sculpt layer and once you've done your terrain and you've and, and you know where the hills are where you you, you know you know where the desert uh, area is you know where the mountainous areas are you just design them then it's really just about okay i want to give them the colors of the typical biome colors i want to give them a little bit slightly filter stuff so they're manipulating the things like it looks like more dry or washed off so this would uh, this is something we, we we could do with the filters um and that is a just a different approach you can do, uh, do because that means you're designing your terrain entirely and letting just the procedural um, powers of work creator do to make the terrain look real okay but the underlying terrain design is up to you like for your game or for your for your movie okay um, 
Of course, you can add as many biomes as you want. You can add as many biome layers as you want. I mean, for this small terrain it doesn't make sense that much, but if you're going up for really huge terrains, then of course you would have more biomes available. And another really cool thing about this is you could also just add another desert um, biome layer. And let's say you're adding it, just imagine you're doing this for for a much larger terrain, then it's not like you want to have a mask for the entire terrain and paint on it, right? Because it doesn't really make sense. But um, it might be like you want to have multiple parts on your terrain. You want to apply that. I'm just dropping here without painting it, okay? Um, so you could do this as well like that. So you're not strict to one layer per biome. You can use many layers per biome as you want and mix them all together to to assemble the terrain that you actually want. So this, this gives you really the best freedom you can imagine to create real world size terrains and world creator applying the biomes and the colors and the filters to specific regions without uh, you know um, letting your GPU to explode. So that's really important to notice and really important to know. Okay, that's it for now. Hope you, hope you like that. Um, we will do much more tutorial videos um, once the release version is done, along with the with the in-depth tutorial descriptions, but this one should help you to get familiar with the system, to get you started somewhere. Um, the rest is really pretty easy, as World Creator is really straightforward and really intuitive and really easy to use. Okay, thank you for watching. Have a great day and stay safe. Bye bye.